previously on the Kungslede. We had to say farewell to one of the most breathtaking campsites we had ever been. The forest gradually transformed into a rugged and rocky terrain, resembling the landscapes of Mars. As we attempted to cross yet another lake, we faced a problem when the boat's motor struck the lake's shallow bottom. After repairing the boat, we indulged ourselves by staying at an STF hut, treating ourselves to the serene silence that Sweden has to offer. We had dinner with an incredible view, overlooking a crystal clear lake as the sun set the sky ablaze with fiery hues. In this vlogging series, we invite you to join us on our journey of the section from Fikjok to Salto de Wokta. As we venture above the Arctic Circle for the first time, we're stepping into a whole new world. One filled with vast landscapes, majestic reindeer and the mesmerizing northern lights. Let's discover the magic of the Kungslede together. We awaken to a world decorated with glistening morning dew, softly dripping from the ceiling of our cabin. The tranquility enveloped the quiet lake, granting us a profound stillness that surpassed any silence we had ever experienced. With a fresh cup of coffee in hand, we savor the morning's embrace while overlooking the calming lake. Now it was time to embark on the final day of the Kungslede. With hearts full of anticipation, we prepared ourselves to take the last steps on this extraordinary trail. Good morning! Good morning! Uh, after the boat ride, we arrived at this side of the lake at City Jauren, and we thought we could buy some bread and fish, but unfortunately, the shop well, I think it was a shop was closed. Yeah, there was nothing actually. No, there was nothing. <laughs> there was just one home of uh, a Sami family who took us across the lake, and that was about it. Yeah, so we ended up going to an STF hut instead. First plan was to go camping, but all our gear was still wet from the freezing night before. So we decided to treat ourselves in the hut and we made a fire over there and had a hot meal and it was really nice and cozy and we are very relaxed now, up for another day. Today there won't be any more lake crossings as we are making our way to the STF station of Saltelewokta, which is a 19 kilometer stretch. Now we are waiting for a herd of reindeers because they are right on the track and we don't want to scare them. Um, so we're waiting for them to just go somewhere else.
Aletta forgot her trekking pole, oh, so I had to get it. You're lying! <laughs> you forgot your trekking pole. <sighs> no, I forgot the trekking pole, but I have it now. Our day has been perfect so far. We're walking on like a field. It's like an all barren landscape with beautiful fall colors. We saw a lot of reindeer. And we had a really, really chill lunch as well. So it's a happy day. Be here at my shoulder Be here in my side Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Be here in the autumn When all the colors call Be the burning memory Of all the summers gone Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Our final night in the tent along this incredible trail, we relished the tranquility that enveloped us. It was a chance to recap the multitude of breathtaking moments we had encountered on the Kungslede. From encountering the majestic reindeer grazing in their natural habitat to witnessing the mesmerizing dance of the northern lights painting the night sky, Sweden had unfolded its wonders before us. Yet, it was the profound silence that resonated deeply within our souls. A unique and immersive experience that only Sweden could offer. As we bid farewell to this extraordinary trail, we carry the memories of the Kungslede close to our hearts. But our first for adventure remains. We are catching the bus to embark on a journey to the picturesque Höga Kustelede on the east coast of Sweden. Stay tuned for our journey continues, revealing more of Sweden's marvels and the boundless beauty that awaits us. This was the Kungslede, 